Hello and welcome back to Pure Science Education. Today we will be looking at calculating moles in GCSE and A level. Moles are fundamental to do all calculations for GCSE and A level. So let's look at calculating moles in three states of matter, solid, liquid and gas. For each you have a different formula. So if you ask to calculate number of moles in a solid, the formula is a number of moles is mass over relative formula mass. This line here means divide. This line here means multiply. So the mass will be given to you in grams. If it's given in kilograms, you will have to convert it. Number of moles is what we will be calculating today. And relative formula mass is, um, you have to know what the relative formula mass is using your periodic table, which I have showed you and how to do in a previous video. So again, this you will have to calculate. Let's look at a, a typical example um, of how you will use this triangle. Before we do that, let's start by rearranging them. So if I was to say the number of moles is a small n, mass is a small m, and the molar mass is mr, then let's start with looking at um, number of moles. So if I was to calculate this, then what I'm going to do is n is equal to m divided by mr. This time, I'm going to look at the mass. So to get mass is m is equal to moles times relative um, formula mass so n times mr. And like I said, mr is something we need to calculate using the element and number of atoms in the formula. So how do we use this in an exam scenario? So let's look at an example. What is the mass for 10 moles of NaCl. So that is your question. Now, what do we need to do? We need to work out what the mass is. We know we have 10 moles and we have been given a formula. So the first thing we need to do is work out a relative formula mass. Na is 23. CL is 35.5. Both numbers can be found on your periodic table. As the ratio is 1 to 1, you add the two numbers. So NACL is equal to 23 plus 35.5. That gives you a total of 58.5. Now that I know my relative formula mass, so the formula for mole and mass is equal to number of moles time molar mass so i know the n is 10 i just worked down my mr which is 58.5 the answer is zero sorry the answer is 50 58 585 grams so 58.5 times 10 gives you 585 grams. If I was to have a look at a different example, um, how many moles are in 5 grams of NaCl? So we know NaCl is... Um, 58.5 like we previously calculated this time we need to work out a number of moles we know the mass and we know the formula so let's have a look at that so n is equal to mass over molar mass so this time I've got 5 divided by 58.5 which gives me 0 0.085 moles so just to go back and recap, if you have got something that has been given to you in a gram, 
um, then you need to look for a number of moles in a solid um, and then you use this particular formula and sometimes you have multiple calculations where you might have to use one more than one formula for moles let's look at number of moles in a liquid so number of mole, moles in the liquid is number of moles this line here is divide that's multiply is equal to concentration times volume now the very important thing here is that you need to keep make sure these units are kept the same so if i was to highlight here and here um, i have dm cube and dm cube but you can be given cm and dm cube so be very careful and if i write down here for you one dm cube is equal to thousand cm cube so if you was to do a conversion those are the things you need to use so again that's n that's represented by c and that is v now making sure um concentrating on the units as well so uh, so number of moles is concentration times volume if it was to work on my concentration um, then it would be n divided by v and if i was to work on my volume then it'd be n divided by c it's really important that you um, rearrange these formulas in an exam so you know which one to make your subject so if you was to apply this scenario uh, for an example so if i was to calculate the concentration of five molar solution of 20 cm cube sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid H2SO4 what do I need to do so if I was to look at what I need to do I need to work on my concentration I know my number of moles uh, I, need, I know how much I've got here in terms of volume so to work out that concentration is equal to um, number of moles divided by the volume so I'll have to do equals 5 divided by 20 which gives me 0 0.25 cm cube please make sure you write down the units because it's really important if the examiner has asked you to do any conversions that you are working in cm or dm cube if you look at a slightly different example then how many moles in 20 cm cube of 10 moles cm cube solution so this time i want to work out the number of moles again i've been given the volume and this time i got the concentration so number of mole is concentration times volume so it's 20 times 10 and like i said uh, that and that is in the same unit so we don't need to do any conversion so it's quite straightforward so the answer is 200 moles um let's now look at how do we calculate the same thing in um gases so in gases um the formula is volume is equal to number of moles times 24 at room temperature and pressure um, now this is for dm cube but if you was to do this in cm cube then you need to have 24,000 as i put that I highlighted for you again please make sure you have the correct unit so um number of moles is equal to volume divided by 24 dm cube or number of moles is equal to volume divided by 24,000 cm cube because the ratio is 1 to 1,000. If we were to look at an example and apply this triangle, what 
volume does 0 0.1 mole of oxygen gas occupy at room temperature and pressure so the emphasis here is on room temperature and pressure because if you change the um, temperature and pressure then this formula will not apply and you will have uh, specifically need to know what those are in order for it to work so let's look at what we need to work out we need to know what the volume is we have been given the moles and it's at room temperature and pressure for oxygen so um in order for to do that now volume in cm cube need to be particularly careful so i know which exactly units i'm working in will be uh, n times 24,000 equals 0 0.1 times 24,000 is equal to 2400 cm cube. So again, if you've been told to work in cm cube, that's what you need to do and if it was dm cubed then you would have just done 0 0.1 times 24. let's look at a slightly different example now so how many moles in 20 dm cube of hydrogen gas at room temperature and pressure so this time we need to work out the number of moles we got 20 dm cube as volume and we got hydrogen gas so let's look at what we're going to do this time so number of moles is equal to volume divided by 24 because it's in dm cube which means we need to do 20 over 24 which gives us 0 0.3 0 0.833 moles so um this was a quick whisk through for the three different formulas of number of moles i hope you enjoyed the video thank you